Paul. Thanks for joining us for the 3 o'clock Lifestyle Hour. We've been fairly food focused to kick off. We just had Regina Lester on with the Dorrance. They're having a big pie fight challenge. It's the Great American Pie Fight for ALS this weekend. Before we start going into Ed Brady's restaurants here, I'd like to welcome you into the studio. Do you anticipate maybe uh, partaking in some pies this weekend? Uh, absolutely. Uh, I was challenged and I, I got pie myself on Facebook and I called out some local friends, some people that have been on the show rather frequently, one being Johnny Gates from The Voice. Oh, uh, okay, you've challenged Johnny so, Gates. Yep, Johnny's got to come by the Beaver and get pied. Um, also, uh, a good friend of mine running for governor. Um, he's also the mayor of our great city, Alan Fung. I challenged. I heard he's here Wednesday. Maybe you could get pied here Wednesday. <laughs> so I'm not sure if that's the day. Could Alan, play a little closer over here. I wonder if we can get Alan Funk to get pied in the studio here. We're on to something, I think. But yeah. it's it's a great event, and the restaurant scene. It's just that great time of year, springtime. Lots going on. So yep. let's talk about what's happening at your restaurants. Let's start with one of the newest. Let's talk about Four Corners and what's going on with the Pink Pig and donuts and barbecue yeah. and all that's good. Yeah. So I mean, everything's going great. Um, I can't be happier. The spring and summer is the time for barbecue. Uh, Pink. Pig Barbecue, ppigbbq.com is where you can find out more information, but we have a location both in Jamestown and in Warwick with uh, Four Corners, which so you can come into Four Corners, get a square donut, get breakfast, you know, at 12 o'clock comes around, you can still get some delicious barbecue, New England style dry rub barbecue, wings, ribs, brisket, I mean, it's absolutely delicious and it's been, it's been tremendous to see how many people coming out from the Warwick community and supporting one of our brands. Did I see? Was there a donut barbecue sandwich? Yes, there is. On special, <laughs> we often do a, a donut barbecue sandwich. It's been a hit. Uh, I invite you down to try it. You won't be disappointed. So. And one of the things that really stands out, too, um, the beverages. You really like it's It's almost like a meal in a cup sometimes. Yeah. I mean, uh, my brother is, is uh, running the beverage program at Four Corners. So, I mean, he just loves coffee, and he's just experimenting kind of in the coffee lab on a daily basis. So hats off to you, Steve. You're doing a great job. i got to give you a shout-out. Uh, keep it up with the great drinks. The uh, coffee the, lab. Yeah, keep people coming <laughs> back. So, Well, we're known for donuts in the region. I mean, there's no two ways about it. You've got the square donuts. What are the ones that have been the hits? I mean, there's so many traditional ones, but you're really able to get inventive in some ways that maybe some more traditional places might not go. What are, what's, what are the, some of the ones that maybe have surprised you that people really like? Uh, one Actually, one that we have today, Maple, uh, maple Bacon uh, is one of our favorites. And Andrea Leonardo, our chef, she kind of oversees all of our restaurants and all the brands. She does a great job um, training the staff to just come up with new creations and kind of just look at the trends going on throughout the country and uh, just try to kind of have them play here, have fun with it, <laughs> bring them back to our childhood. Uh, a lot. So, you know, you'll have some like different cereal donuts or brownie, anything that, you know, you're like, man, I wish I could have that if I wasn't on a diet. <laughs> That's kind of what they But we, we also have vegan donuts, which is a big trend across the country right now. Uh, they Three days a week come in, you can try a vegan donut on a little bit on the healthier side and very tasty too. So do you think donuts, I mean, they're kind of trend proof like do they not withstand the test of time <laughs> I, I would I would hope so I mean that's why we're in business there but um, no yeah I mean donuts are awesome I mean but the good thing about Four Corners too is you get a full breakfast kind of like KFC Taco Bell too you come in you know no one may, maybe thought that would work when they combine mm. but now you can go in you get a donut you can also get barbecue you know you can kind of utilize that space the full day and get coffee all day and desserts all day so we're very very happy again we're excited for the Jamestown to open four days a week. We just were opening four days a week with this beautiful weather here that you see today, uh, <laughs> starting this week. So uh, yeah, we're excited. I mean, all you know, so far, so good. So. So there's no reason to uh, get you know your summer diet going now because there's really no summer. Let's be honest. <laughs> and let's talk a little bit about the barbecue. And as you said, going to four days a week. So clearly, there's a demand. Absolutely. Um, you know, it is. It is. To, for the most part, it does very well, in the, you know, obviously in the spring and the summer. We do catering, we do weddings, we do late night food at weddings, we do all sorts of events with our catering truck. But um, over the winter, we only do two days a week, and now we're on to uh, four days a week, and then we obviously expand the hours beyond that. Barbecue is one of those things that you cook, and you cook a lot of it, and then, you know, once you're done, it's smoked 10, 12, 14 hours a day. So when you sell out, you sell out. And we're fortunate enough, a lot of weekends were sold out by 6, 7 o'clock at night, and the demand's there, so we have to obviously open up a little bit more. So, okay, so if you want your barbecue, you sell out. You better, you yeah, better get there come early. early. Yep. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, send us an order form online and pre-order, and, you know, we'll definitely work with you. How much are you seeing in the pre-ordering and online ordering world? And, and we can go beyond just Four Corners. Do you use it at other restaurants? Oh, what's, what's the online world like right now in terms of ordering? Um, if, you're not, if you're not kind of investing in that, you know, you're, you're going to be left in the dust. I mean, obviously Grubhub, Uber Eats, all these delivery type companies where they're just bringing it to your doorstep just like Amazon obviously 
bring food from Whole Foods to your doorstep. I mean, that's the future. Uh, I think that because we have alcohol, a lot of our locations will always be around. But <laughs> um, it, you know, people want food and they want it brought directly to them. And you know, we're invested in that. We're on Grubhub. We're on Uber Eats. Make sure you check it out. And uh, yeah. That's yeah, it. you That's mentioned the alcohol. There's, there's, there's no sippy cups to go. No, no <laughs> sippy cups to go. So, you know, we still do want people coming into our bars and our locations to drink and enjoy the atmosphere. And at the same time, you know, there's nothing better than having a birthday or a bachelorette party or something on site. So, you know, we're, we're, we're fortunate. <laughs> Hopefully we'll always be there. But, yeah, Grubhub, Uber Eats, get some food to go. Check it out. Can get the food to go. Let's just talk about barbecue before we move on to the other restaurants. Um, you know, you talk about being a little inventive uh, with donuts. Is barbecue just tried and true? It's kind of tough to be inventive, I would think, with barbecue. Yeah, I mean, it, the barbecue lovers, they really, they, they know what they, they like. Know what they know like. what they want, you know. <laughs> but we kind of have our own style of, uh, you know, like I said, New England dry rub. There's all different styles throughout the country. And, um, you know, we have people coming from all sort, all across the com country, especially, again, off the plains at the airport. Mm. And they, they come in, and, and you'd be shocked how many people are pleasantly surprised to say this is some of the best food we've ever tried. So it feels good as a restaurateur to hear that and get that positive feedback. And, uh, you know, we hope we keep getting it. So. so let's go from Four Corners. Let's go to the Thirsty Beaver. What's new in the spring in 2018? Oh, uh, man, I just came from a meeting. Uh, we were working on a frozen drink menu. So we have about seven or eight frozen drinks that we're very excited about. I, but don't, I don't see any with yes, you. Yes, <laughs> I know. I should have brought some, but we're excited, you know, for whether when the weather turns to uh, to showcase that. But uh, we also have some great fundraisers coming up. The, the great thing about both the, the Cranston location and the Smithfield location is we throw a lot of fundraisers and a lot of people from the community come out and, and you know, want to host events with us to raise some money. So a couple that I could plug right now, if that's okay, is uh, my high school principal uh, passed away this past year. Uh, May 12th, we're doing a fundraiser in his honor for his scholarship. He was uh, very influential to me in my life. So, you know, we invite people to come down, um, have some fun, enjoy some music, and, uh, you know, support, support a great man's legacy. So that's one event. Another event we have, May 5th, is the annual Brian Moretti hockey game at our Cranston location. And uh, we are kind of all, the, all another friend of mine that passed away. He played hockey with us. And we all go out, we have some fun, and we raise some money for a scholarship foundation. Very good. And you talk about the frozen drinks. Anything on the menu side? You're known for the tater tots and yeah. you've got some staples, but anything new to look for? for? On the menu, actually, we were showcasing a new menu in June. A lot of great, new, exciting items. Um, you know, we have Wiener Wednesdays, which we partner up with Gastro's, um, and they've been doing a great job, great partnership. We uh, also do tater tot tot show, uh, so either a tater tot or nacho Thursdays. <laughs> but there's a lot. I mean, it's, it's definitely your delicious, um, better than your average bar food. And Andrea Leonardo, again, I can't. Um, praise her enough. She's been a, a godsend. We've had her with us for a couple of years now, and she oversees all the kitchens. And Sonia, our executive chef at our Smithfield location, and uh, both the mats at our Cranston location are doing a great job. So keep it up, guys. I got a lot of the shout outs now. Got to <laughs> go to another restaurant too, Milk Money. Uh, let's talk about how that's doing. What's new there? Yeah, um, Milk Money is a is a great concept. Uh, one of my one of my best friends growing up, Jared Malay. I moved out to LA with him when I graduated college, and he stayed out there for about eight to ten years. And he, he worked under many great chefs and uh, under many great restaurants out there. One being um, Suzanne Gowen, who's a James Beard Award winning chef. He kind of took a lot of that knowledge back home when we opened it, and uh, you know, Milk Money's been doing great. Brunch every weekend is, you know, s basically you can't get in, and <laughs> uh, weekends are great. Live music, uh, it's a really good time. Come check out your farm to table style food, tapas. You know, we really want to get you back to the shared plates and enjoying the food. Um, and again, 566 South Water Street, Milk Money, check it out. Do you need reservations for brunch? You can make reservations for brunch, okay. which is, you know, is rather unique because a lot of locations in Providence. Uh, don't offer reservations, so mm. it's definitely one positive that the location offers. Would you would you say Providence, is, like any city, is a brunch town? Like you go places on the weekends, there's lines out the door. Uh, you know, you <laughs> see a lot of trends in, in in you know different states and whatnot. Right now, we're a brunch state, so yeah, we we put ourselves against anyone. There are a lot of other great places, but uh, you know, we we love our brunch. Anything. Anything next? Is it just focusing on the tasks at hand? What's on the horizon for Ed Brady? Yeah, I mean, you always want to look at what you have and, and just continue to listen, grow, and improve and offer the best product possible to the Rhode Islanders. But we have some good things on the horizon. Nothing I can touch base on quite yet. Uh -huh. But um, some exciting stuff coming up in the spring and the summer that we should be announcing. Hopefully I can be back on Go Local where I can announce it exclusively here first. I sure hope so. <laughs> yes. Let's just talk a little bit about the business world. You know, we're here in 18. You know, it's a political year, but we're talking about the economy as well. How is, I mean, to say the restaurant business in general, are, are we seeing more people go out to eat? Are we so, seeing different behaviors? I mean, you talk about folks 
opting for the online option. Um, you know, let's talk about the business just in general. Uh, you know, is it doing good? Yeah, I mean, honestly, this is the uh, the best I've seen it in the last five or six years. Wow. Uh, a lot of people coming out and uh, appreciate all the support. But you know, like anything else, you, you got to really stay with the trends and make sure you change your concepts and stay with people want and keep your quality of food up and your yeah, quality of service up and, and just continue to improve. So we're very happy to have so many great people working in all elements of our business and uh, hopefully it just continues to grow. So. And I, you know, are you seeing a lot too of that online ordering? I mean, just folks maybe like having nights in and just wanting that food there. I mean, how does that add to the restaurant dynamic when you're all of a sudden dealing with a much, much larger volume of takeout food? Sure. I mean, it's something you got to prepare for, obviously, and, and have you know more more cooks on the line, making sure they're designated just for the to go orders. But to be doing an extra thousand, fifteen hundred dollars a week in revenue just from each location for to go orders, it's it's a great. Great so that's, th that's your approach, to have a designated person to do it. I'm Correct, sure it yeah. varies via restaurants. But as you said, this is the world we're going down. There's yeah, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. There's no coming back. Um, I wonder if we're going to have drones, you know, dropping off donuts. You never know. Yeah, that'd be cool, right? <laughs> Baby stalk, right, coming in. Well, I appreciate you giving us an update of what's going on in your world, giving us the bigger overview of the restaurant world here. Again, you'll be at the Dorrance on Saturday night for the ALS event. Lots going on here. And again, how, you know, milk money graduation season is a big. Oh, it's huge. <laughs> yes. You know, still, we do still have some reservations. So make sure you, if you want to come in with the family, put a reservation in. But that's open. the, you know, you know the so, weekends for oh, the city schools. Absolutely. It's great. Great, 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 great. Go grads. So. <laughs> Go grads. Wishing them all the best. But Ed Brady, I appreciate your taking the time to come into the studio. When you have these new exclusive announcements to make, Go local prop. Go local prop. Absolutely. Com. Thanks Ed for Brady, having me. thanks so much. We'll talk Thank soon. You so much. Okay, I let you go it. around the corner. Ed Brady, he's got Thirsty Beaver Milk Money Four Corners talking about where business is right now, what to expect moving forward, and again, the restaurant world in general. So, Ed Brady, appreciate his taking the time to come here in the Navigate Credit Union Broadcast Center. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with our next guest here in just one minute.